Let me begin by asking this question, what is time? If you're wondering whether I'm joking, no. I'm asking it seriously. What is time? Or how do you define time? Before we begin our discussion on this question, let me welcome you to this series of lectures on mechanics. Today's session is the first session for this course, which is also the first course in undergraduate physics at Aisha Kolkata. Now, in order to set the context of the question that I have asked, let me discuss some related concepts so that we can appreciate why is this question relevant. Let me recall Newton's second law. As you see here, the law contains various types of mathematical objects. The variable t here denotes time. The variable x here denotes the position, which in turn leads to the concept of distance. Then we have the force, which is denoted by the letter f, and the mass is denoted by m. Now we may ask, why does the variable x have an arrow on it, but not the variable t? As you may already know, here x is a vector, whereas the t is a scalar. Secondly, what does it mean by the term dx dt? I understand that some of you have studied such terms, but some of you may not have had mathematics in your class too. Here the term dx dt refers to the derivative of x with respect to the term t. This leads us to the concept of calculus. Now in Newton's second law, if you consider the force to be of the form f equal to minus of kx, then the mathematical equations represents a system of simple harmonic oscillators or just simple pendulum. Now, if you have an additional damping term in the force, as you see here, then the mathematical equation represents a system of damped oscillator. These equations are known as second order ordinary differential equation or ODE in mathematics. Therefore, in this course, we plan to cover the topics on basics of vectors, vector calculus, and related topics. We also plan to cover the basics of second order ordinary differential equation and the associated techniques. And of course, as expected, we plan to cover different aspects and implication of Newton's law, as you see here. In addition, we'll cover the system of simple harmonic oscillators with damping and forcing terms. Now, having set the context, let me return to the original question that I had asked. What is time? Maybe after thinking for a while, I can tell you, time is something measured by a clock. Does it sound good? No? Believe me, this answer is among the best. However, you may have noticed that there is a problem. In order to define the time, I have used the concept of clock, which I have not defined. So, how do I define clock? I can try again. A clock is something that measures time. Perfect. Or is it? To define time here, we have used the concept of clock. And to define the clock, we have used the concept of time. It is an example of a circular definition. The bottom line is that we feel time and we are confident that we know our time really well, but the fact is, sadly, we don't even know how to define time. 
So we treat time as an axiom in the mechanics. In summary, although we are very confident that we understand time, we feel time, we really know time well, but the bottom line is we do not know how to define time. In case you have a question, comment or a suggestion, please feel free to write them below in the comment section. In case you would like to follow the physics discussion here, you are welcome to subscribe to this channel.